I dropped my bike this morning, which was kind of annoying. It kind of just fell over and landed on my foot, but it actually landed on the top of my boot. But well, at least it landed on the bad side, so that's not a problem. <laughs> but I have actually got a funny story to share. It, it, it was going to be one story, and then uh, one night just changed it to a completely different story, which is just even better. So the other night, I get woken up by this buzzing sound. Now, a few weeks ago, me and Spice have been getting a few mosquitoes come into the room. And they're like the only animal that we don't mind killing because, well, they're mosquitoes. What more do you need to say? But, but when they fly really close to you, you can hear them buzzing. And I hate that sound. It always startles me. It gets me in like a panic mode. I don't like, I, don't, I mean, I don't mind bees. I love them, but I don't like when they start buzzing in my head. So whenever I hear that, it always automatically by default puts me into on edge panic mode or your instincts just take over. I get woken up and I just think, yep, yeah, that's a mosquito. So I have a look around and I'm thinking, mm, I can't really see it or whatever. Okay, go back to sleep. 20 seconds later, bzzz, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Wake up, look around and I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't see it. I don't know where it is. So I go back to sleep, don't hear anything. And then I keep hearing it. Every time I put my head down, I hear it. And I'm like, oh my God, where is this mosquito? In the end, because it was so dark, like I got my phone, had the light shine, the torch on it, shining it around the room, trying to find where it was. Because if it's trying to bite you at some point, it's going to land somewhere and try again later. Couldn't find it, so went back to sleep. This time I decided to sleep under the covers, completely engulf myself in them. Because at this point, I'd been woken up about four or five times by this mosquito and I couldn't find it. So I hid under the covers so that I couldn't hear it buzzing and I'd be safe. Eventually, I got really hot and I couldn't breathe properly and I've got asthma, so it wasn't really helping. So I decided to come out of the covers and think, OK, it's probably disappeared now because the window was open. So you'd think maybe it'd fly out. Nope. Started buzzing in my ear again. At this point, at the same time, because I can't find the mosquito, I'm thinking maybe it's something else. Maybe, maybe Spicy is like making a strange noise in his sleep. Maybe it just sounds like a mosquito. Because it wasn't until I lied my head down that I heard it. And then I noticed my nose was making a similar sound. And I was breathing in slowly and I could hear it. And I breathed out. I breathed in again. I was like, oh, it sounds a little bit like the mosquito noise. So I was like, okay, it's just my nose. It's nothing else. So I heard like the buzz a few more times. It startled me, but I thought, nah, it's fine. All is well. The next day, I spy a mosquito on the wall. What I think is a mosquito anyway. And I'm thinking, mm, it doesn't look exactly like one, but it could be one. And Spicy was like, I'll just leave it. Because he didn't see it and he thought maybe it might not have been one. I don't want to just kill this random bug for no reason. So I left it. And then that night, went to sleep again and heard the buzzing. At this point, I was, I was angry. And I just swiped with my hand and it woke, woke him up. And he was like, what is it? What are you doing? And I'm like, that mosquito is back. He's still in here. Should have killed it earlier today. It probably was him. <laughs> then I end up going back, trying to go back to sleep. And it flies in my face. I can hear it buzzing and I just feel this thing on my face. So I start smacking myself in the face and I'm like, right, that is it. This thing is going to die. So I sit upright and I'm like, angry. I'm really pissed off. Just want this mosquito dead. It's been traumatizing me for the past two days. Well, not traumatizing, but just annoying me. And uh, I get my phone, I put my glasses on so I can see, and I'm shining my light around the whole room. And Spicy's like, what are you doing? And I'm just like trying to find this mosquito on like some rage. This was like at five o'clock in the morning or something like that, five or six o'clock. And then eventually I find it on this wall near to the bed. And I'm thinking, that's it you're gonna die and it was definitely a mosquito not the same as the bug I saw earlier in the day this one was definitely undistinguishably a mosquito and I was like right that is it it's time for you to die so I got my got this coaster and uh I, I held it really close near it and I had my light shining on it ready and then just went splat pulled the coaster away and it was dead and so much there was so much blood so it obviously like taken loads of mine and or Spicy's blood in like the middle of the night for those two days and I was just like oh my god the relief that it was dead and I was searching around the room just to make sure there wasn't any more because I thought I cannot deal with another one but nope there were no more and there were no more noises so I could finally sleep in peace but Jesus Christ the amount of blood that came out of it, it was gross and then I wake up the next morning and I've got a bite mark on my hand and a bite mark on my, like, this, my first finger. 
So I killed it, which is great, but it still managed to bite me somehow. <laughs> so it was kind of like we both won in a way. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm so glad that it's dead now. I don't like killing things. I don't like, you know, being glad that something's dead. But when it's a mosquito and they like suck your blood and you can get bad things from them, it's just better to, you know, be safe. So uh, unfortunately he had to die. And because he pissed me off so much, he definitely needed to die. So he's dead now. But yeah, that was a funny story. So it originated from my story. I was going to tell you guys about how I thought a mosquito was trying to get me and realized it was actually my nose. And then uh, turns out the mosquito was actually trying to get me and did get me, but I killed it. So it, it kind of like changed the story. <laughs> it made it an even interesting, more ironic story. Oh, and I just thought I had to share that with you guys. <laughs> Have you guys ever had anything like that where you've just had this bug or something that's just been annoying you and it just turns into one thing and then turns into something else and just this elaborate crazy story. Have you ever had that? <laughs> let me know in the comments. But it'll be interesting to know what your guys' stories are. <laughs> but before I let you go, I just wanted to say, following on from the 2000 subscriber special, the winner, the winner, the most suggested thing, it was most suggested on both YouTube and on uh, Twitter, on the Twitter poll I did, was the Animal Adventure. So uh, that's what I'm doing for the 2000 subscriber special. And me and Spice have spoken because a lot of people also suggested a dual vlog, uh, not a dual vlog, a dual Q&A with both me and Spicy. I've got a lot of votes for that. So um, we might potentially do that in the future, but for the 2000 special, it's gonna be the animal adventure. So you guys have got that to look forward to. <laughs> but that's it from me today. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.